Evening everyone, uh, welcome back to AJ Stores Photography, I'm John and I'm going to talk you through editing this landscape photo, it was taken in Wales on my summer holidays with the family, uh, as you can see it's pretty dark, but basically I underexposed the foreground to get definition in the clouds, because I knew I'd be able to bring the foreground back out in Lightroom. So, <clears throat> shot was tripoded, ISO was 100, 27mm, f9 and 1 25th of a second. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to take a few bits and bobs out of it, like this and that. Just aerials that I think look a bit nasty there compared to the rest of the photo. Excuse me, so where to start? Right, we need to bring this up. So, we'll get the lens correction out of the way. And we'll get rid of the histogram because we don't need that. So, first things first. Now you th might think, well, he's bumping the exposure up to bring this up. I am, you're right. But it's to see where I need to be. And then we can go from there. So, the highlights I'm going to take down. And the whites I'm going to take down. The blacks, which is this. And the shadows both need to be up. So, I'm going to put the shadows, because most of this is shadow. And then I'm going to put the blacks up as well. Now, don't worry about the losing in the sky because I'm going to adjust the exposure in a bit. So, it's pretty even spread across the board. Now, if you look at your histogram, you can see it's a few spikes here and there. But we'll go through and we'll try and flatten it off. Right, I like to dehaze things. I think it just makes it a bit sharper. Add a little bit of clarity. And a bit of texture, which will bring some of the leafage, the foliage out even, of these. I mean, the photo itself is pretty sharp. I know we've got a few people walking around, but I don't mind that. So let's have a look. Bit of contrast, and then I'm going to knock the exposure down just a little bit to what it was. But if you still don't think it's right, you can always put it back up a bit. And bring the blacks back up and the shadows up. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, I'm just going to check to see if it's um, straight. So if you hit transform, or you can, can hit auto, and it's changed it a little bit, but not much. If you see, the photo does move a little bit. So that's not too bad. Detail. I mean that's picking up that there and it looks pretty sharp to me but I'm still going to sharpen it a little bit I'm going to put a little bit of noise reduction onto it right let's see if we can bring some of the sky out so I'm going to knock it down the exposure down by 0 0.1 I'm going to knock the whites up and the black's down one and it's just starting to come through I'm going to dehaze it a little bit more that's more like it so I'm quite happy with that um, I might just bring the colours up a bit more mm, that's better right so I said I mean that's the editing done you could probably play around with it, tinker around with it a little bit more. But for me, I'm quite happy with that. So, how do you take something like this and that out? Well, firstly, let's go three to one. So, this is what we're going to take out. And you might think to yourself, wow, that's like, you know what I mean, a lot to take out in one go. And it is, you're right. So, spot removal. 
and again if you use your center wheel on your mouse you can make it as bigger or as small as you want so all I'm going to do is just take out the top bit for now and then take out that bit so there's your two big bits out of the way now if you hold space you can move around you know your photo around so and just go straight down I'll take that bit out and take it down again If it does that, which it, it does now and again, not very often, it's basically picking up this top bit here. If you just click on the middle of that and then just move it up and it will move it. And again, if you just have to took the top of the roof out, so we'll just move that a little bit. And there you go, and I'm happy with that, so let's zoom back out. And there you are, it's gone. Save again on the bit bottom. Zoom it right in. And we've got a little bit of noise, so we'll sort that out in a second again. Click on that. Go up. There you go. And that's that taken out. Again, you'll never notice it. I mean, you could go into loads of detail. I mean, there's little bits here and you can just take them out well I'm quite happy with that I am so we've removed that nasty piece of metal on the top of the buildings and there's nothing else really I think we would need to do to that I've looked at these shadow and um, these reflections and I think they're, they're pretty crisp um, I'm just going to do a little bit of noise reduction a little bit more I'm going to take it up to 40 That's pretty much done it. And remember, we are in a one to three here. If you go to one to one, you can hardly see it. Like I say, you could, if you really, really wanted to, start taking all these little dots out, which is just reflections in the water. You know, maybe it'll be like leaves and stuff like that floating around. Um, I think that's about your lot. If you want to put a bit more of an effect to it. You just put dark on the outside just to give it a little bit of something so there you go so if you're liking what you're seeing guys um like share subscribe uh, look out for the next one i'm going out saturday night um, milky way um in boulder head reservoir in the northeast hopefully we'll get some milky way shots and i might do a tutorial why i'm out Speak to you soon. If you leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Bye now.